So the marriage-based naturalization interview, what sort of questions and what's different about this one than the five-year naturalization interview that's not based on a three-year marriage to a U.S. citizen? Well, in general, the process is going to be the same initially, right? You are going to do the, the civics and English language tests, and then the officer will go through the application and the questions. There's a separate video in which I covered the naturalization interview process, which you can find in the descriptions. The big difference here is going to be the fact that the officer will want to make sure that you've been living in a marital union for the past three years with a U.S. citizen. So be prepared for to present documents as well as answer questions with that regard. If you're worried about what documents to use to prove, um, you know, your, your three year that you've been married to a U.S. citizen for the past three years before the interview, um, look in the description. I shot a separate video about that. But basically... The main questions the officer will ask regarding the your marriage to your citizen will be very similar to those during your marriage-based green card interview, although a little bit um, less. There's going to be they're going to be less intrusive and, and less detailed and shorter. But the officer will most likely ask you to state your spouse's name. Where does your spouse work? Where do you live? Um, you know, just general questions about your life, right? Together. And the reason the officer will do this is just to verify all that you know everything you've presented in the documents is true and that you've actually lived with a U.S. citizen for the past three years. And this will allow the officer to approve the case. Just my experiences, and I, and I mentioned this in the other video, is that the officers are much more focused on the documents rather than the questions you answer because the, your spouse isn't going to be there. You're going alone to this interview without your spouse. So there's no way for the officer to truly verify uh, you know, whether what you're saying is true. But if you have the documents, it's, it speaks for itself. So I definitely recommend for everyone to bring the documents and make sure you have documents proving that you've lived in a marital union with your with your spouse other than that other than the questions related to your marriage and just verifying who your spouse is where you all work where you you know what your day-to-day -day life is like and other than that the interview is exactly the same so you, it's going to follow the the same exact steps and frankly in my experience these questions about the, the marriage to the U.S. citizen don't really delay the interview. It doesn't make it much longer. It's just that the officer looks um, through those the documents submitted and asks questions. The most common ones I see are regarding day-to-day -day life, where your spouse works, where you work, and just kind of going through and making sure you know that, that you've actually lived together for the past three years and lived together in a marital union. Yeah, I hope you found this video helpful.